Welcome, welcome back to Tiny Help at Cisco. In this example, we have this composite space figure, and we need to find the volume of this composite figure and round this answer to the nearest whole number. Why do we call it this a composite space figure? Because if you notice, if I draw this this line, I have a half of a cylinder and a rectangular prism, and we can approach the problem by finding the volume of the rectangular prism the volume of the cylinder, cut it in half, and then add the two numbers. Or we can use this formula you see down here. Volume equals B times H. B is the area of the base. In this case, the base is a composite shape. Is this rectangle? This is 16. This is 28. And we have a half of a circle. So this is kind of a, what we call a cross section of this uh, composite space figure. And uh, we, in order to find the area of the base B, we need to find the area of the rectangle, which is this rectangle 16 by 28. So the area of this rectangle will be 16 times 28. which is 448 square units. And then we need to look to the area of the whole circle. And the circle that I'm talking about is the circle that has a diameter of 16 because these two sides are congruent. So this is 16. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find the radius, which is half of the diameter. So it's going to be 16 divided by 2, and that will be 8. And the area of the circle is pi r squared. So we're going to have pi times 8 squared, and that will be 64 pi. And I'm not going to do any calculation here. I'm going to do calculation at the end, rounding the uh, to the nearest whole number at the end. But this is the whole circle, and we have only half here, if you notice. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide for finding the area of the semicircle. I'm going to divide this 64 pi by 2, or multiply by 1 half, and that will be 32 pi. And now the base of this composite space figure will be the area of the rectangle plus the area of the semicircle, and that will be 448 plus 32 pi. For finding the volume, as I said, we multiply this base times height, and in this case we're going to have 448 plus 32 pi times times the height, and be careful, the height is 14. This is a sleepy prism, if you want to call it like that. The height is 14. So now I can get a calculator and do this math. And I end up with 7,600 and 79.4 and because I need to round this to the nearest whole number I'm going to round it to 7679 cubic units that is the volume of this composite space figure and as I said before you can approach this problem by finding the volume of these rectangular prism, the volume of the half of the cylinder, and add them, and you should get the same value. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.